Hey y'all, it's me, Sign on the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, press subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So, the download I got was Do Not. <laughs> do Not Keep Eating What. Don't Keep Settling and Eating What's in Front of You. Go Search for the Good Stuff. Don't Keep Eating What's in Front of You. Go search for the good stuff. Go find the goods. There's some goods over there. You know what I'm saying? There's some goodies over here. You know, you're sitting there eating what's in front of you. Don't just sit there and eat what's in front of you. That's what the download is. And we're going to figure out what that means. Okay. <sighs> what does this mean? Lord? What does this mean? Sir? We got the Emperor. Emperor. So this could be a message for a divine masculine. I said, don't just settle for what's in front of you. You gotta go find the good stuff. There's some good stuff around the way. We got three of cups. So, um, and then we have justice here. So some, I feel like somebody here maybe could be. They're finding, they're finding something, reconciling with maybe a friend or something like that. And this is bringing in justice here because this, this energy has the good stuff. Somebody here could also be, um, taking a risk and like rebelling against the system and, and, and just ending out something here. They ending out something, releasing some sort of energy um and holding back and this is this is justice here because what it say don't just because yeah but it said don't just settle for what's in front of you go find the good stuff yeah so someone here could have been definitely you know stuck in a day stuck in a haze stuck in confusion feeling weighed down with the ten of wands seven of cups energy i feel like that's coming to an end here whatever that is um Cause someone here was just settling. They've just settling for whatever's right there, whatever's like, you know, whatever's easy to get to, okay. And, and somebody's eating what's easy to get to. So now yeah, I feel like you know with this eight of wands, this can be some communication, or some forward movement, where someone is going to actually go move forward towards some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? We got the wheel of fortune. Ending out this cycle, releasing this energy. Hold on, there's two here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So something is ended. Something is coming to an end. Something's coming to a head with the Knight of Pentacles. It's, it's like, it, it's, it's over with. Something has slowed down or slowed up for this Emperor. And there's a three of, three of Cups. This could be the Friends or something like that. Yeah, look, Friend. We got Friend here. We got another friend here, but this is like, this is some type, this is bringing in justice with this hermit, somebody going into hermit mode in order to find the good stuff. And sometimes, you know, that is what you got to do to the good stuff really be inside of you and um, sitting there trying to eat with everybody, eat with everybody else eating or eat with everybody else. It kind of puts us in the space of look, karmic energy. Okay. It keeps us in a karmic cycle in a karmic loop doing things karmically um, in a space where that keeps us, you know, making foolish decisions. So with the Knight of Cups, um, let me see, yeah, with the Queen of, we got a Queen of Pentacles here. So yeah, this could be a karmic um, investment, a karmic investment, a karmic, um, something karmic with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, something karmic. Yeah, five of five of swords. This is look at that five of swords energy. That bird picking at that man's head. Somebody was settling for what was easy, what was easy to manipulate, easy to consume, easy. To, it just something was easy. Someone was someone was choosing to stay in a situation or stay in a space around individuals where there was it was easy to get whatever this person wanted or whatever this emperor however this emperor 
was able to win at all costs or create some type of illusion. It was easy here to do this with this karmic energy, with this queen of pentacles. Okay, this is somebody who was sent to teach this person a lesson. And so it was easy to eat with whatever, to eat with this person. Okay, it was easy to come in on this knight of cups energy and just come in and swindle and, and lie and sneak and do all that extra stuff you know it was easy for that and that to be in that energy but i do feel like this emperor here is um closing out that cycle with the will of fortune coming up under that and i feel like they're quickly moving away from um they're quickly moving away from whatever this is yeah, whatever this is. Yeah, whatever the yeah, cause this making somebody miserable. We got the sun in the reverse. Somebody is making staying invested in this energy where it's like, oh well, I'll I'll accept this, I'll accept this food or this friend or this lover or whatever the case. Because it's easy, it's really draining somebody with the sun in reverse. This is like sad as hell. This is like unfulfilled as hell. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, the best card in the deck. And if it come up in reverse, that's like the worst energy of like just pain, strife, discomfort, damn, I fucked up energy. Like this is not something that someone here is um, being fulfilled in. Or feeling fulfilled in with the four of swords i do feel like it's come it's going to come to a rest here it's going to come to an end yeah with the four of swords and we got four of swords with the five of cups and then we got the two of cups after that somebody here is definitely going to be a regret regret investing in whatever this situation is because they were eating they were consuming and eating things eating people or <laughs> Metaphorically, y'all, <laughs> metaphorically, <laughs> they were consuming people in energy that was not good for them. That was a that was set to teach them a karmic lesson. And it's, this is someone who was being propelled to close out these cycles with the world card and actually move forward towards something that is more um, on their level, you know? Yeah, because we got the we got the three of swords seven of wands nine of swords this is just pain okay so something is just painful someone here could be resisting resisting change resisting evolving here and it's just causing somebody to go through hella pain a lot of pain okay that's too many cards da -da 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 -da. Okay, judgment. Yeah, this is somebody's karma. Somebody's going through karma. Somebody's about to experience a lot of karma here. Because instead of trusting that, trusting in the divine and trusting in, you know, where they're being guided to go towards, you know, they could have chose to stay in a, stay in a space of chaotic karmic energy with the five of wands. That's chaos. That's drama. That's conflict. That's pettiness. That's, that's, uh trying to win it all cause all of that good stuff all of the bad stuff all of that stuff it ain't good or bad honestly and truly it's all life lessons how about that it ain't good or bad all of that stuff that's just keeping somebody stuck okay with four swords somebody was his kids being feeling stuck but i feel like yeah it's time to you know go ahead and play it up let it go yeah this is all energy from someone's past this is like past life lessons somebody is learning things from their past possibly learn it possibly a queen of cups here somebody who could be involved from their past um but either way they're definitely learning life lessons through this yeah oh shit major power coming with tower y'all somebody about to transform i could i could transform your head ass let me stop <laughs> Somebody about to transport. <laughs> let's, pull, let's pull some energy from these. What is this here? 
What else do they need to know? Yep. Da -da 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 Ding. We got hostilities coming in. So someone definitely choosing to eat with eat these eat these energies that are easy or consume these energies that are easy is got to have them in a very hostile space. Remember, we got the six, the two and the six coming into the eight. Okay, the eight. That's like a repetitive cycle of energy. Okay, the eight could also represent, you know, mastery. So mastering that energy of actually overcoming these hostilities because these hostilities are growing. Okay, they're growing. They're growing. It's like somebody keeps doing something again. And then they cycle back around and do it again and they get hit with it again and it's only growing it's like magnifying whatever this is with the adjacent possibilities so it's time to consider it's time to consider a new outcome consider the best possible outcomes it's trying it's time to go through another door i'm sorry i'm trying to find a space where the light ain't exactly messing it up but yeah it's trying to go through another door okay someone here keep going through the same blue door and it's time to go through the green door or try the yellow door maybe even the purple door you know what i'm saying it's time for someone to call upon archangel chamuel to help open up their solar plexus chakra and give them the confidence and the willpower that they need to maneuver in a new direction we have the three with the seven that's ten that represents completion then you got angel of balance here this balance that has to be that will be restored once once someone decides to lay to rest whatever these energies are that with this community here where they're sitting there they're doing things because it's easy or because it feels familiar okay this is something that feels familiar these are people who feel familiar energies that feel familiar okay and someone here is um it, it, it's, they continue to they continue to get hit with different hostilities spiritually and mentally and emotionally because they continue to choose the same type of energies. Okay, they continue to be around the same type of energy. Alright. Oh shoot. Oh. So what's next? Anything else? What happens if this person decides to move forward? Okay, because somebody has definitely been stuck in limbo with the indecision here. Someone here needs to know with Archangel Michael, this is the first chakra, root chakra, you know, that Archangel Michael has somebody's back. Archangel Michael is going to protect you. Wherever you are, you're protected along this journey. If you do decide to close out this cycle with these, with this community that's karmic and feeding someone's karmic patterns from their past life or from, yeah, this is a past life karmic pattern. So if you decide to move on, know that you're going to be protected, you know? Yeah, and your for and your financial constraints, any financial constraints that you could be currently experiencing, your the door to value is gonna burst wide open if you decide to move on. And this is almost like God is like, you know what? I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars. I really got a million over there behind the purple door, but I'm gonna see if you gonna keep going over there to that yellow door. If you go over to that yellow door, I'm gonna give you these five hundred dollars. But that purple door got a million behind it, you know. So someone here needs to trust that they're gonna be protected if they choose to release it. Look, we got the, we got two different energies again. This is all about you know decisions. We got a huge contrast here that keeps showing up. Okay, so you got the broken heart, and then you got the healer of ages so someone here has the power to heal themselves of this broken heart but they have to decide that they want to go through another door they got to choose a different route they choose another route they and choosing this route is also involves speaking there's some type of speaking um that archangel gabriel is is being called to assist in 
when it comes to this healing as well. There's a throat chakra healing. There's someone here it could be, yeah, anxiety. Someone here could be very much in their mind, in their head, it could be very anxious. But the way to alleviate that is to vocalize their throat chakra, or I'm sorry, vocalize their opinions and use their throat chakra. Someone here has to find the strength to use their throat chakra and they have to find and tap into their solar plexus chakra to transmute the energy of this anxiety that's keeping someone in this really in this in this messed up space okay with yeah balance yin yin yang so the throat chakra look if you bring balance to the throat chakra and bring balance to the um if you bring balance to the throat chakra and bring balance to the solar plexus chakra you'll be victorious whoever this masculine is you will be victorious okay so we got the let me see the root the root with the crown and then you got the sacral with the third eye and then you got a throat with the solar plexus yeah exactly okay so the throat and the solar plexus chakra go hand in hand if one is blocked the other one is blocked so if someone here is having problems within their solar plexus chakra meaning that they don't feel confident within themselves confident within their ability don't have the willpower to say no meaning that they're a people pleaser even to the point where they sacrifice themselves and what they want then their throat chakra in in turn closes okay if somebody here doesn't have the strength or the ability to speak up for themselves or even to tell the truth then their solar plexus chakra closes then they cannot they can't push through anything they're not you know they just doing enough to get by so one chakra does directly affect the next okay they, they are di directly um connected to each other the throat chakra and the solar plexus chakra so balance out one naturally it should balance out the other one because if one is blocked the other one definitely is blocked so this masculine in this situation has to balance out both their throat chakra and their solar plexus chakra crystals that can help with your throat chakra are the uh, tur our turquoise lapis lazuli um and that's the only thing i can think of right here all right off the top of course you can always look this up but um for the um for the solar plexus chakra the crystals that can help with that would be the sit would be citrine and tiger's eye okay so then we have this is this is what um this is what help okay so this here balancing this is going to be a balancing within the community or balancing within the family or balancing in general when someone decides that they want to they when they choose themselves someone here has to choose themselves someone here has been choosing what is in front of them instead of instead of going and looking for something more um, and finding more, but that also starts with self, with the cornucopia. We got cornucopia here. So there's a lot of uh, wealth and abundance and prosperity that comes in, that will be coming in as somebody balances out their energy here with healing. Yeah, door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, so we got taking action. Ooh, excuse me. Anything else? Yeah, victory. Look contract for victory so this is somebody here is sealing the deal it's like once you seal that deal move forward like complete out this karmic contract and get in alignment with your actual destiny but this is all really tied into one your destiny your contract your karmic your you know it's part of your destiny to overcome your karmic contract the things that have stopped you and delayed you and your ancestors in the past okay yeah, you're going to have victory here. This will be a strategy, strategy strategy with a thinking woman. And then we have the woman. And then we have the um, world. So there's definitely some type of... Um, I don't know. There's some type of strategy with a thinking woman. Maybe this, um, <coughs> this masculine could be experiencing some type of problems because of this strategy that somebody was trying to create. 
or somebody was trying to do something with. But whatever this is, it's like this manipulation. It's like once you close out whatever this is, close out this cycle with like these, these, I don't know, this, this toxic energy, whatever this is in someone's life that is blocking them it's like then they're going to be able to whatever this is this with this thinking woman there's also a karmic female that's around that has somebody all tied up they have someone's sexual energy all tied up to the point where they cannot think and they cannot they cannot create this person is not creating whoever this masculine is this uh person's second chakra is um you can ask archangel ariel for help with your sacral chakra but this thinking woman, she has strategically planned something that has kept someone's sacral chakra bound and kept them creatively un, un... They cannot create. And if your sacral chakra is bound up, you cannot... You, you don't have a... You don't have your intuition either. Because your, into, your sacral chakra is connected to your third eye chakra. So someone here is definitely bound up in that way. And this is what also is keeping somebody in financial constraints because they could be trying to strategize and create something with whoever this is. They're trying to strategize and create something with whoever this thinking woman is. And that's causing a problem for someone here. Mm -hmm. And we got appreciation here. So... We have appreciation. We got healer and envy. So yeah, so there's gonna be it's like somebody here, yeah, walking away. So somebody has to walk away from whoever these envious people are. Because there's somebody who is envious of a healer around this masculine, or somebody could be envious. Yeah, somebody could be envious of a healer around this masculine. Okay. And this healer is this masculine's way out of whatever this is. But they they gotta they gotta choose themselves. They gotta choose to do it. Somebody just somebody got one foot in the door, one foot out the door. They 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 doing they they don't work like that. They don't work like that. You either you choosing to heal or you choosing to stay karmic. You either want to heal or you don't. You can't be trying to heal around people that's poisoning you. That's it's like either or yes or no. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, y'all. So y'all go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope that it makes sense. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.